Okay, recording video, recording audio. So I think we're ready. Uh, hey guys, I am obviously not Sergey Prognevsky. My name is Andrew Marston. I'm a motion designer, and I was invited by Sergey and Vlad to make an After Effects quick tip video for the Euchre Media YouTube channel. So my After Effects quick tip is how to set any numeric property value in After Effects using a single hotkey. Okay, so let's jump into, yeah, that's, that's good enough. All right, so here we are in After Effects with a very simple lower thirds going on. Uh, let me just make that a little bigger. So we have a name, we have a social icon and social media handle. Now you may be thinking that it's a little bit of a brown noser move to use the name of the founder of this YouTube channel in this example. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, the goal here is gonna to be to change this social icon as efficiently as possible. And I've already rigged up using Essential Graphics, a slider whose value when changed will change the icon. And you know, to make this a little easier to see, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it, uh, disable a few effects, scale it up, and there we go. And I'm gonna link the slider of this copy to the other slider so when one changes, the other changes. There we go, that's better. And for clarity, I'm just gonna shy this and lock it. We don't need to see that. So this isn't so terrible to have to change, but it does involve one, two, three clicks, and then manually inputting a new value. So here is a faster way. We're gonna create a new shape layer with nothing on it, and I'm gonna make it a guide layer just to be safe. And of course, rename it, because if there's anything I've learned from Ben Marriott, it's that you should always label your layers. <laughs> And I'm going to select this new blank shape layer, hit R to bring up the rotation property, and I'm going to pick whip the slider value that controls the icon, and I'm going to link it to the rotation. And so now, whenever the rotation value changes, then the icon will change. And the reason why this is beneficial is because the keyboard shortcuts to change rotation are the plus and minus keys of the number pad. So if I select this layer and I hit plus, then it adds one degree to the rotation, which then changes our icon. And the same is true in reverse for the minus key. And if I hold shift and hit plus or minus, then it'll add 10 degrees or jump our slider value by 10. So now instead of doing three clicks and manually inputting a new value, we're simply hitting plus or minus on the number pad. All right, let's look at another example. So here we're gonna use the same technique, except we're gonna change the font size of each of these lower thirds elements. And I'll just put it out there right now that I am gonna be using the smart text script by Euchre Media. Um, <laughs> Vlad and Zergay are gonna be so pumped that I just promoted their script. Okay, so using the smart text script, we select the layers that we're gonna to want to be changing the font size of. We make sure that font, the font size button is selected and we hit play. So now what's happened is Smart Text has added an effect called, you guessed it, Smart Text. Under the Smart Text script, under Size Options, is Font Size. And I think you can see what we're about to do. We're going to create a shape layer, make it a guide layer, rename it, pull up the rotation property, and then pick whip the font size property to the rotation. Now, the first thing we notice is, of course, it is now zero. So I think it was at 50. And now when I select this layer and hit plus or minus, I guess that's hard to see. I'll hit shift plus and minus. We're very quickly changing the font size. But, oh no, we have two font layers. Well, as it turns out, the scale property can be controlled in a very similar way by holding control and hitting the plus and minus key on the number pad. And similarly, if you hold shift and hit plus or minus, then it changes the scale by 10. So now on our second text layer, under the smart text property size options, we will link our font size to the scale. And when we select that top layer and hit plus or minus while holding control shift, we can control the font size of the second layer. Whew, this is my first tutorial ever on, for YouTube, and it was much tougher than I thought it would be. All right, so that's the whole quick tip, guys. Um, I hope you found it, <coughs> excuse me, I hope you found it helpful. And uh, leave a comment if you have any other ways that you can see to apply this or similar tips that you'd like to share so others can benefit. And thank you to Euchre Media, Sergey and Vlad, for letting me make this tutorial. Uh, all right, guys, have a good day.